Greetings and welcome to Prosper's Universe. Okay, so in the meantime, since the last episode, I have done a couple of contracts, built some cash up. Okay, maybe we don't have much cash around right now, but we have, we have cash. In fact, all the cash is currently set on this ship, which has just arrived at its destination. Okay, five hours ago. In my defense, I'm, I was watching Netflix. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, uh, I need some food in there. Uh, let's pop in there some nuts really quickly, just get them processing. Boom, there we go, we've got those for a few minutes at least. All right, the, P the PP1s right now, the PFABs right here, they're processing for a contract we have. That's gonna pay out shortly, and it's be the four BD, the two BTAs, the 11 BBHs, and the 22 BSCs, which are broken up in that order to basically try and process this one a little bit faster. <clears throat> so, uh, Hopefully we'll uh, better get the, that contract in, bring some money in, and better expand some other stuff. Okay, so we need to stock all this up. This needs stocking up. So let's do this right now. Uh, rations. What's our water limit right now? 84 water. We get 17 hours before we need more. We'll have enough to do some drinking water because I could always do with a little more drinking water. Uh, give me 100 units. There we go. Uh, 16. Yeah, that'd be more than fine. <clears throat> 100 units. Uh, and then we'll drop in because we'll have water to do it. So then we'll drop in immediately after that uh, two sets of six rations. Boop boop, and there we go. <coughs> okay, rations are done. Let's get the farm up and running so we can grow. We've got the nuts growing. We'll need the beans. Uh, we're gonna want four. Yes, we can make a twelve pack, and we also want grain. There we go. That should keep that going. Then we'll want another set of nuts again in a there, followed by some, oops, I just did way too many nuts then, didn't I? Uh, Cancel that one. Then we'll need to do the nuts, just the one, because they're coming back at 12. Then we want more beans, and then we're going to want some grain. There we go, a nice little loop for that. Done. Um, the smelter's going to be busy for nine days, then it's going to eight in the five days, so the smelter is perfectly good with that. Actually, input missing because the ship just arrived. Here we go, the Ranalorian with 14 more halite crystals for selling on the market, and a big chunk of iron ore to go into here, to which will fund that quite happily. <coughs> we have 73, and we'll be using... 60. Can we do 70? Cancel that. Can I do 73? We have, we have, I'm sorry, we have 62. I misread the wrong guy. Where, where, where did 73 from? Oh, iron. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, 60 is about best, the best bet. So where would 60 be on this? 60 would be 48. 60. There we go. <coughs> okay. So the iron and the aluminium will all be used up. That will be good. Aluminium 95. That's going to use up 90. Yes. So the smelter's busy for quite a while now. Um, you could do with some more water. Uh, drop you in with six pieces. Boop, boop. There we go. And in the BSEs, I think about a good one to build. So let's make some more BSEs on this. We'll do at least a day's worth each. Uh, well, well, five is a night, one day, thirty-one minutes. I can't argue with that being around a, a nice, uh, a nice round day, can you? <coughs> okay. This one is now set up and good to go. Um, in the meantime, what I have done. I've also bought in a whole bunch of um, SFK and MFK. <coughs> I just need to bring in more INF and we can make repair kits. A lot of repair kits, because uh, we do sell them quite regularly to people sometimes and make decent money, so worth worth bringing in. Okay, <coughs> that being said, let's go to what the main thing today's episode is. The main thing is over on the, our uh, WN59 and Alpha, Planet Canalobia. <coughs> okay. So the plan here is to actually get this planet up and running with four PP1s actually on this planet here. Now the pro there are better planets to build a PP1s on, but I kind of wanted this one for different reasons. Uh, but right now we need to drop all this material off onto the planet store. So we just do a drag and dropping. So if you've not played the game or if you're one of the new players to the game, by the way, the way you do that is you go to the FTL, which is where your ships are, click on the cargo bay of the ship. And you can just drag and drop the cargo into your uh, into your base or over around into your, into your ship. There we go. All right, ship is now empty. Fuel tank is a bit low. We fill that ship when it gets back to prom. Uh, okay, so all the stuff is here now. Now, 
<clears throat> here's the thing. We're going to go build these four. Now, to build the four PP ones, they're going to need a, um, a habit. And it's all right. So if we just go back to our resource page here, go to our constructor. If we just build the four PP ones right now, <clears throat> there we go. Each one will take 80 pioneers. We have six, we have 40 spare capacity, so we're going to need at least one. Um, I have point two. I can't remember what the numbers work. I, I, I didn't run them. But let's build the pioneer hub right now. Boom. There we go. We have 400 capacity now. So now we go in here and find our PP ones. Build one. Build two. There we go. Built two, and we're at our limit. So we definitely need to go back here now and build an extra uh, Pioneer Hab. Boom. Pioneer Hab. We now have 500 capacity. And then we should be able to go here and we should be able to build PP1. And there we go. We're at our capacity. Now I think I may have miscalculated. Let me just check my cargo here. Uh, inventory. Do I have enough to build a second Hab? I probably should have done because I did the numbers. Um, yeah, we've got one BTA left there, so we're going to run off and build an extra habitat, the HB1. There we go, and then finally the last uh, Prefab Mark 1, and that should say, yeah, we've got rare stock now on all the materials. Hey, look at that. We only have sealant left, and we, we knew we brought more sealant than we needed. Perfect. Okay, now we are, we are now consuming a lot more resources, so we need to bring a ship with resources. Luckily for us, I have a ship sat over here in Prometer. who's ready to stock up on resources and ship them over here. But before we do that, let's head up to the resource planet. And we're, we're going to have to wire this queue out now. Oh, look at that. It just nicely fits as well. And look at all the prefab, pre, 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 prefabs. Yes, look at the prefabs. Okay. We have 77 limestone and we have uh, 81 iron. Now, what we should do really is we should set this up to build up to do long runs. And given that we make iron here, we don't make uh, limestone, I think the first big batch should be some BBH. Now, we can do big batches in here because we're not going to be picking up as often and selling them as often. We'll be bringing ships out and shipping them back, which is great. And I also want to talk about fees in a moment as well. <coughs> okay. So I think if we do this, this is 40 iron. We do not have enough to do all of those. This machine here will be keep, will keep pumping out iron ore. This will keep pumping out iron. We've got to keep in pace with it. So since we can't do all like 20, 20, 20, 20, which I would love to do, we just don't have the iron for that. <coughs> um, we're going to drop it down to say 10. That would, that would drop that 10 would draw out well 40 of that actually. If we did this, that would that 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, and we have definitely got enough of the limestone for that. And it'll get that'll give us four days. All right, we're gonna do a whole batch of BBHs just to start up this new base. I think actually, what we'll do if we do some BSEs here as well. Yeah, let's do two batches of BSE. Boom, boom. There we go. And then we should be able to do BBHs. Uh, should we do two batches of BBHs? Or do we do higher batches actually? Ooh. Um, I've got 60 left, so that'd be three. If I went for 30, that'd be three, six, um, 15, 15. We can do it, there we go. Two of those in. We're now out of limestone and we're out of iron. We will need to ship limestone in. There's no two ways about that. Limestone has to be brought in by ship, which is why there are other planets that are better because limestone can. There is a planet out there that does both. I really should have considered that earlier. Uh, but there we go. We are now making 10, 10, 15, and 15. And these will be three days and six days. In three days, We'll have a whole bunch of iron coming in from multiple runs of, uh, of uh, smelters, and we'll be able to quite happily uh, produce that. Actually, we should do, since we have a fair amount of iron ore here, let's cancel these extra ones and set them up now so that they'll end around the same time as these do. So, is there any smelter that. Ah! Is there any smelters that can run for, le for three day around three days? Three days, that's six days, so it's not that one. Three days, 11 hours is too long. So two days, 19 is 16 units. Uh, boop, 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 boop. For now, that'll work. All right. Um, we haven't got anything queued up here. I will queue these up later when I work out what we're gonna have material-wise and just ship some limestone across. 
I have a whole bunch, but the ships can only carry so much. Okay, we have now got ourselves a very nice PP1 factory over here. It's not running fully, because what we need to do, really, is every so often, we're gonna, it costs a lot of money, but we need to drop in an extra mine, and then a whole bunch of new smelters, and a whole bunch of PP1s, all in one go. And that will be interesting. So it'll be basically one new one new extractor, five smelters, probably four PFAB back mic ones. Um, now that'll be a big update. So that'll be a while. The next upgrade is going to be over here on Burfa, Burfa, which will be to put smelters over here. Now I haven't done the numbers yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be quite a few. And that means we're going to have to really ramp up our uh, consumption of carbon and flux and oxygen. So uh, that's going to be interesting because we're getting that can be quite uh, difficult as it is right now. So I'd love to process all of the aluminium and ship it out, but I don't think we'll be able to. Because I mean, looking at, what, we're looking at 98 per smelter, uh, per uh, extractor over there. Um, if we run that at maximum power, it draws 120. So 98 would put us down at 96 there. 96 every 11 days. <clears throat> so one smelter, can keep up with one of these every 10 days, but the seven days, so I think, ah, be with the extractor. Right, so if we were to run this, an extractor it does one every 12, you do one every 16, you see, so we roughly, roughly need two to one with a, well, it's not quite two, not quite two to one. So we're gonna need to build uh, probably five smelters to uh, keep that base running smoothly. Maybe maybe six. I'll have to run the numbers and see exactly how many we need. I want to have just a little bit less. So we ship out a, um, aluminium every so often. Uh, ALO, aluminium ore every so often. But the aluminium is a, is a primary output. And then eventually, the goal is over here to put up a PP2 uh, and use, actually use the aluminium. Maybe even with, actually, maybe we don't. What alternative options do we have for the AL? I mean, is there any alternative option for the AL? Because, um, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean we need to run that, right? Um, let's see, smelters, yes, obviously. You've got smelters and silicon, and yes, you can make silicon. Okay. Um, we can put in a high power blast furnace and get some. Uh, okay. I mean, we can make these. The question is, are they needed for entering? Not there, but maybe for buildings, I don't know. Um, clean rooms, we could. Uh, Aluminium and silicon, but we could make. Uh, ooh, we could make some of those sort of stuff. Clean rooms, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I mean, they're not using they're using these, so maybe. We'll have to see if there's any demand for them. Uh, let's see. Myth Studio would make bronze meds. Trusses are used with a welding plant. Hmm. We can get a supply of helium. Trusses are always good, but I mean, yeah. Personally, I think it's a PP2. I mean, I like the idea of a PP2. It does need to bring in, uh, we have nylon at the main base. We have limestone, uh, glass, PG. We'd have to maybe have to have a PG plant at some, somewhere, which is the polymer building. So there's a whole bunch of stuff we can possibly work on. So I'd love to be able to make our own PG. We could use that in the PP2 and back on our base for uh, making stuff of nylon. We've got a whole bunch of stuff we can do anyway. All right, so that's done. Uh, our promoter base is prepped and ready for the next phase. Um, I brought the iron ore back here because it was just basically not able to process it in time, so I'll ship some back over here, that's good. Um, I'm gonna be shipping occasional chunks of iron ore over here as well, just to help out with the base as it is. I think we're good on a lot of different bits right now. Yeah. Mm, cool. Okay, the base is ready and there. We now need to look at our food consumption. So, if we look at Prometer, draws 27 per day, and resource base, boom, resource base is 23. Now, I need to open up a quick new browser, so. So, here's my planning sheet so we can go back to our cost page and see what we're going to be needing here. So, our WN599 Alpha now requires 23.2 on the rats and DW and 2.9 on the overalls. It will also require, um, and we really should send the PW over here now, 
So 1.2 on the PWL. I think I'll leave coffee off for now, just so the base is sort of stabilised and then we'll put it in, but uh, leave me know it's there when we want to. Um, although I would make like to put it in there, but I'm not on sure just yet. Depends on, well, I will look around. Okay. So, uh, where is my FEO mine, which is the uh, new base? You need, to need, you need to be changed now, you're not an FEO base, you are now PP1 base. And I'm going to put your here, I'm going to put WN599 alpha. Oop, there should be a dash there. Let's make it italic. There we go, WN599 alpha. Just so I know what, where it is. Uh, you also are not an FEO Halmine, you are now a PP1 base. There we go. Alright, so we are now needing to consume on this place a fair amount. We currently have. Oh, we need to do a stock check. That would also be useful. Stock check. It's going to be really, really bad when I find out I've got like an hour and a half worth of stock. Alright, overalls 25. Drinking water, rations. Okay, rations are at six. Drinking water, rations are at six. Drinking water is at three. That's what happens when you build. It just consume more stuff, unfortunately. You can't just come with a full belly. They always want to have their uh, last little bit, don't they? Uh, we are at 86 on all of these. Can we keep these synchronized now? Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I should put limestone in this list as well now because we do use limestone. Um, I'm probably less likely to use limestone in this list because I do actually pick what I'm making, but I'll decide that later on. It would only really make sense if we were pumping one product out of here. I mean, if we could make it a BBH base and it wouldn't make nothing but BBH, that's an option. We could ship in limestone. I mean, 100 limestone would make 100 BBHs then. We could use Prometer for the uh, BSEs, but then I would need to ship iron to Prometer. So I don't think we'll be doing that. I think about it. Probably won't. Probably get rid of the PP1s over in Prometer at some point. Uh, once the iron over there runs out, we'll have to make that decision. Alrighty. Um, so we definitely need to get this over. So, current days. Okay, that, luckily they've just fed, so they're not going to run out now. But we do need to start shipping stuff over. So you need. 232 and I do not have 232 on Prometer just to ship out randomly. Do I? No, I do not. <coughs> um, new rations were ready in 17 hours. Um, new DW 229. Okay, I need to bring out... We can make new stuff, we can buy stuff here, so the best option is to ship out a whole bunch out. Maybe not the full 10 days worth of them, maybe just send out maybe 5 days supply just to uh, get the base up and running and then send out more later. I do definitely need a new rig and a new food processor to keep up with the demand of the new base now. That's not even negotiable. With that being said then, let's clear out this list here that I just put in. We'll make a plan in there in a moment. Alright, 116. So, where's my ship please? Which is the Prometer base of so Ranalobian. Please don't eat the crew this time RJ. We need to send in 116 rations, so 100, 10, 10, then remove four, as that is the easiest way of doing it. That didn't work. There we go. Um, that's rations. So drinking water is the same. 100, 10, 20. That's not rations. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Uh, overalls. You will need 14 per day, per week. Uh, you let's bring, let's, you know, let's bring the extra 14. We have twenty. No, we have twenty something right now. So let's not bring that. We have the base actually has actually has actually has twenty five. So we can leave that alone right now. Okay. Um, you two are fine. Don't need to worry about you. So that's it. Don't need to worry about that. PWO. I would like to have PWO over there. So let's send out. It wants six PWO. PWO. Now I have a lot of PWOs. I'm just going to purposely send it a uh, straight thirty across. We have, we have a bank of it, so I'm happy to do that. Okay, and while we're here, uh, let's send a big chunk of limestone over there at the same time. Boom. 121 limestone on that ship. We've got some spare capacity, though. Okay, spare capacity, spare capacity. What can we put over there with spare capacity? Um, never hurts to send something else over. What can we send over there? Steel? No. SFK? No. Iron? No. Nuts? Water? None of these are... I have a hundred. Do I need 
PE for anything right now. I'm actively producing. Uh, you don't need PE, you don't need PE, you don't need PE. You are, I need limestone for you and I need overalls for you. You're fine because you'll get the overalls from that, so. I need to buy some limestone, which I already knew we'd need to buy limestone anyway. Uh, okay, let's see. You're not making any BDE for a while, so you should be fine. Okay, yeah, we don't need any. Let's send the Wonder PE across. Because then we can make some um, BTAs and stuff over there if we want to in the future. Not many, but it's a start, right? And MFK, I think we're good on all the stuff here we would normally want to send across. Um, we can send a batch of coffee across. And, you know what? Send 10 coffee across. I'm running a bit low myself, but I'll buy some more. But uh, send, some ten, send 10 coffee across for now. And. Actually, what is our coffee consumption going to be then? So I can put it into my plan. Coffee consumption is 1.2 a day. So we'll put that over here. One point, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Cap 1.2. PWO. Oh, 2.9. Ah, okay. That's, yeah, that's, I knew it was wrong. 2.9. There we go. So we're going to need 14. So send. we'll send the full 20 across. And I'll get some more for Prometer. There we go. All right, that's supplies done. We've got a bit more room in the ship. Anything else we can send to that base that might be useful? I don't really want to send any carbon and stuff across because it only keep them in sync with each other and that would be a bad move right now with the limited space. So I think we just send the ship as it is. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, Randallobian, you're heading out. You Let's refill your tanks before you go though because I would like to make sure you have your full set of fuel. There we go. And you need to fly out there now, so WN599 Alpha. Uh, minimum warp speed. I know it's not warp speed, but minimum warp speed. And day 14, I'd like to be there a little bit quicker than day. I don't want to be burning in just too hard though. 19 hours of 170. I think like 120. Or can I just. You know what? We'll go with 150. I'll leave it at that, right? Because it's just not going to be what I want. 23 hours, you can be there. They shouldn't have any food problems over there because what they should have is even though it says we we need to take 23 water and we've oops, one, one, and we've got uh, three, they shouldn't consume that for 24 hours from now. So the ship arrives in 23 hours. We should have dumped that water into the stock and it should be fine. I say that I'll probably call it wrong at some point, but it should be fine. <clears throat> okay, we are all good on all the stuff over here. Which I'm very happy with. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's see. You are going to be using four. That's fine. Okay. So I did say before we end, I want to talk about fees. The fees are a new update. I should have talked about them at the beginning of the video, but now that we're at the end of the video, it's too late now. So fees. If you have a base in space owned by one of the corporations, not corporations player owned ones, the 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 corporations, the you know the. Let me show you. The in this the cooperative, basically, if you have a currency called ICA, NCC, or whatever, you know, uh, go to the uh, Montem, for example, Montem, for example uh, uses uh, NC coupons and it's run by the Neo Charter Exploration, so the operator. Whether the operator is for your area, um, you have to pay fees to them now. So if you go to maps, and uh, we ask the faction button there, you can see, it's kind of hard with some of them, but they're here. Uh, uh, Green dot, green dot, yellow dot, yellow dot, yellow dot, blue dot, blue dot. So wherever the dots are coloured when you turn factions on, if you have a base there, you have to pay a fee to make something. So if I show you on my on my Burfa base, if I say, hey, extractor, um, make me some aluminium. He says, yes, yeah, sure, I can make seven aluminium. It'll cost you 10.53 ICA to make that 10. Let's make that seven. So, ah, I mean, can make me loads. Boom. 210 to make 140 so there's now a production fee on a base so when you produce something you pay a fee um, if you have your base outside of uh, <coughs> so that's an extractor if you have a base outside of, co of um, government space like my WM599 Alpha which is you can see here even if they make me 471 iron it's like, yeah, there's no fee because there's no one here to collect it. This is in to encourage people to leave 
the, the, the government space and move out into their own space. And that's a good idea. I think the fees are actually well balanced. Um, I did the numbers and it doesn't really, if I, actually, if I show you my sheet, that we haven't been to these sheets in a while, but if I show the sheet on Prometer, um, you can see here the fees are all down. Even this one here for overalls, if you made the fee of 12, it's that 12 is then divided by the 20 in the batch. So it doesn't really change that much. And I actually purposely left in the sheet before and after. So if you see here, um, we have our... Uh, total per item and then we have uh, so this one's 24 per item and this is 20 so <clears throat> this item which is okay let's see what it is now um, exoskeletons an exoskeleton used to cost 20.97 to make it now costs 24.24 to make so the fees of four have put the price up a little bit by uh, by a small amount um, it puts a price up overall, divided by your batch, it gets added in, and then we just did some, did some number crunching here. Um, ignore the negative numbers, it's just me screwing stuff up. I think these numbers are actually wrong. We I pasted them in somehow. I've changed something. But I did the calculations on these, and the prices were. Uh, I think this might not be what I was doing. <laughs> you know what? Forget that. <clears throat> but basically, the fees don't actually put the price up that often, that much. So. Feel free to run the numbers yourself, but the fees, although they can look kind of scary at first, they don't really affect the overall price. But the biggest place to affect the prices are over on the uh, prefabs, where you're getting batch amounts of one. So that batch actually has six IC, a six point six ICA gets added straight to the end price. <clears throat> Whereas say here on PE, that five point six is added to a total of two hundred, so it kind of gets watered down quite a lot. Anyway. That being said, I mean, I should show you, 421.17, delete the fee, it's 415. Right, so the price per item is 208 before, and now 211 with. So the fees are fairly balanced, actually. I still disagree with them being production fees, and I really think they should be sale, sale fees, so, you know, rather than production fees, but uh, that's the choice of the developers, so that's fine. Uh, there we go. Alrighty. So, back to the game. Fees, you pay them if you work inside organization space, in, in corporate space. If you're working outside of the government, you uh, don't pay fees. So, get your bases, get out there and start, uh, start expanding out. And I know for a fact, if you contact Mr. Washington over on the uh, boop, comms list here. Do, 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 There he is, Mr. Washington. If you contact Mr. Washington, he, he actually stocks what he calls base in the box. Um, basically, it's all the components you require minus trusses. I think it is an MTG. I'm not sure about that. But basically, all the all the uh, prefabs you require to go out and build a new base somewhere. I know Toad uh, stocks multiples of them. He has he has multiple uh, packs of bases available. He's been too lazy to sell them to the uh, market. Has it in his own words. So if you want to build a base somewhere, give him a, give him a shout and uh, make him work for it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Toad. All right, I think that we're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the changes they've made to the game, especially with the fee system, which is oh yeah. There's also um, problem doesn't be the oh, actually no, it was here. If I pop open extractor, we have a no, we got the wrong one. Extractor. We also have here. Uh, there we are. Production line condition 100%. Excellent. But if I were to look, if I were to look at let's see you. No, you're still there. Okay, I need to find one that's degraded a little bit. Prometer. Prefabs. Okay, we, well, either way, we have the production line condition now. Buildings now deteriorate over time as you're producing. So you've got to keep an eye on your building condition. You can see that over in the base building. Go to your buildings tab. Scroll down past all the habs and you can see here my, my basic material plant is at 99.9% .9 condition. That means as it degrades, its efficiency goes down. It takes longer to produce stuff, which means the prices go up because it costs you more to make it. And the only solution to get that efficiency back up is to demolish the building and build a brand new one. So remember, if you need prefabs for your brand new buildings, I make prefabs and I make a lot of them. Feel free to come and ask me for some. <laughs> Alrighty, 
So, prefabs. You'll need more if you're going to be rebuilding your bases. Luckily, they don't degrade that fast. And the, I'm hoping, really hoping, that they put a repair mode in place. I expect it to cost prefabs. I just want it to be something like, oh, this building here. Um, let's see if I want to go somewhere like here. Construct uh, PP1 on this ba this planet. To be quite all this material. I want to turn around and say, actually, the building's degrading. I would like to put in some more walls, some more doors, a bit more flooring down, maybe a bit of concrete just to fill in the gaps, but I don't need any more sealant or, or, or insta-foam, because to me it doesn't make sense. Maybe, maybe sealant, because you're sealing any cracks, but the, you would inject the sealant into the wall and then you'd clad the wall, so you wouldn't really need to reseal it, you just keep cladding it. So, personal opinion is you should have to keep popping in, pumping in every so often some prefabs of whatever type you used to build it. So these sort of buildings you put in the BBE, BDE, BSH, whatever, in something in like the settler range, you just have to shuck in occasional LSC and some trusses maybe. But I don't think you should have to push in the sealant, INF, um, aero floats, that kind of stuff. Um, because it just doesn't make sense to need those. It makes sense to need the prefabs because the building needs those, but the sealant stuff doesn't quite make sense. Anyway, that's my hope. That developers uh, do that because um, I would like a, pre a bit, I would like a repair f idea because then you could build your base with prefab for Mac ones. So the idea that you can repair, um, you know, say if you suppose a repair or constructor, so you, you construction people could also do repair work basically. Anyway, that's my hope because I think it'll be fun. But until next time, let me know what you think of the game, what you think of the video, and until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.